do this. Maybe you could start again. Self can become what it can to self. To become something of water, of intangible, unworded, divinity. If I keep on just doing, will I miss the exit, seek the wrong entrance? What is this grief that can't quite become tears? some kind of revelation I need to wait for? I'll put my feet in the late summer river and a bit later. Simply spin into a single unending path of thought. Continue day and night and so it was and so it goes. Always young into the morning sky. Simply spin into a single Ending path of thought continued day and night, and so it was, and so it goes. Always hung into the morning sky. And a bit later, simply spin into a single unending path of thought. Continued day and night, and so it was, and so it goes. Always 
always young into the morning sky. A bit later. Simply spin into a single unending path of thought continued day and night, and so it was, and so it goes. Always young into the morning sky. Future memory close. But I can't promise it. And know that overheated heartbeat chambers overworking. So why not come back around to me? Sheets of dark. 
dark and blue and drowning in blue and blue for you and me drowning in blues is ease and ecstasy Stepping quickly now, retreating, running, waiting for the question to be asked. You and me, we drove in another thousand thousand words. Do I need a tragedy? Do I need a great sadness? I just want to know how to make myself out of love. begin to pour lentils into your body when Orion draws his sword, filling it to the uppermost part of the skull every morning before you awake.
saw the sky darken when we awoke, but no one knew that leaves would break and fall to us. You make a small hole, routine and confused, at the tip of your left ankle and let the lentils leak out. have been my muse, strange and soft, another soul Just another person. So 
small, but it's still bigger than us. Do I need to be inspired, or do I need to be alone? Free me from this soft control. Find me, set me afire. How do I break our superficiality? Slowly. How could I pierce this veil of charm? Awkwardly. Sometimes I feel like I'm on the edge of a precipice, ready to fall. In the end, of course, I have to push myself.
as the winged man joined alongside her ascent, friendly and loving enough. I'm finding a simple joy in the act of motion, a joy in the new familiarity. In response to his initial kindness, she tried to grab hold of his divinity, pulling from root, from magic and mechanical suit with green wings. The endless nature of our cycles will create the newest form of motion, a better way to breathe. But I'm just pulling phrases and I can't stop anymore. I become friend, hectic, hellish yelling, this constant paranoid wandering, the people yearning to this endless stop embrace. I can't stop stopping means I've given up. Stopping means I'm losing, that I'm wasting, that I'll sleep and wake and push myself slowly into oblivion. And I can't quite pierce the light yet. And after Sometimes you know how his story must be told. Icarus, 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 Icarus. It grows, it grows. Fail, fail. The sparrow in her unabashed exposed of sorrow didn't notice Icarus fall from beside her. Remember when I stood on the precipice? Did I fall? Did I back away? Did I dive and somehow miss the rush of air? I dreamt of flight. Every moment between moment, between rich and gossamer moment. I am constantly at the precipice point. Every moment, a decision to jump. And when sky breaks through sky, what's left? The little precious sparrow alone in flight. Notes of our being turn bitter. This sadness is tucked away, stitched over, hidden under a blanket. I almost relish the bitterness. You know 
or somewhere, this is an unconscious response to the weariness and pain, to the uncertainty and the neglect, to the overwhelming aloneness and meaninglessness that the rain makes you feel, an attempt to deny the underlying suspicion that you're doing it wrong, missing something, are lost. He told me not to speak this aloud, but I must. <laughs> must have thought she looked so cool, standing there, smoking in the rain. But all I saw was a girl, scared. I bought him PBR from the bodega. I have such a jealous rage all the time simmering. I wanted to lock my roommate out and pretend I was asleep just to do it. I have too much. I kill and love and hate and detest and am unsatisfied. How can I feel more than my existence, give myself meaning? me cross-faded, moved over to the couch. Every moment is an opportunity. Let that stress sink in. So, which opportunity do I take? Don't miss it. But do what you want. These people aren't your friends. This is the game everyone plays, but not everyone knows. He was keeping secrets from his girlfriend. I know my heart has darkness. A hidden pit bigger than I let myself think about. That crushing that hunting moment, that moment separating presence from conscience. Isn't it best to keep this hidden? And the narrative sense, that feeling of possibility. Where is the edge? Where is my fall? He became something more than sinister. slowly coming to accept that everything is artifice. He walked into his room and returned in a contained frenzy. So, what if I did the worst things to amplify the suffering of others? What if I took the opportunities I saw and learned how to act on them? What if I let my mind slip just a little, just enough? Can I try it here? This feels evil, but I can't think about it. I can't ruin the thought experiment. I'll let this come to the surface. The feeling that I want to hurt these people. See them suffer. See them look at me with betrayal and anger and fear. And know that power. Know that I caused them to feel that I am creator and destroyer. I'm inside the mind of the furnace. I push and I twist and I dance. And I know I'm living in the moment. 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 Just doing what needs to be done. Calculating and watching and waiting, but never reflecting and moving, seeing and it doesn't matter if it's right or wrong or awful, it's just what I need to understand. Maybe I can take these people and unravel them if I try, then I'll learn how the human mind really works. Don't you want to see that beauty? Don't you want to own that betrayal? If I set the world alight, will I know my own flame? You speak, 
this aloud, but I must. Miles Davis was playing when he grabbed me, kissed me, moved down the lips to the neck. I was cemented. I thought I was some folkloric Jezebel, a temptress. He became hostile, our friendship dead. I almost forgot the violent shivering that took over my body as if to say, you're hurting, this is cold, this is not love, this is not pleasure or health or soulful wealth. Say something. I could leave me like this. This is how the world catches fire. We consume ourselves, needing to be unable. Then maybe this is how. We can keep ourselves with not just the cognizance of change, but the actual consciousness of it. I promise we won't be lost. This was forever. Rest 
are open gold to never die. No choice but to live forever. Dusted popcorn dust and former lust last Tuesday when I had the day off to clean. What does it take to realize the particular quality of our insignificance? Must we wrench it from ourselves, forcing every last bit of praise from these tired bodies? Another thousand fillings of support beams and Baroque themes and cookware soaking in a sink. Oh, the old life. 
my heart Can we save what we want to do? Beside us, specks in the golden hour The spectacular whimsy of late day Jump finally after this like life the past behind us and overwhelming when will we be like this like we are just now?
brown cast and resonating their gloves that bound us close, closer together, tethered in a thousand times and end rhymes, and last more times and time knows, and then time goes. I could just go. I want to be lost. Sitting as the bus takes me where it goes, through plains and valleys and snow-covered streets, through beautiful Midwest sunrises. I want to be lost and alone. I want to see people getting on and off. I want to sleep and wake in the middle of the night and sit alone in wonder. I want to live there, to rest my head on the window and cry, to be part of this music, the road and the country. I want to get off in the middle of nowhere, spin around and have no idea where I am, to meet a traveler, walk the road, hop a train, ride where it will, to live the sadness inside me. This isn't on the road, running to parties and cities and being wild. This is being the road, losing everything, being lost. I want to find myself in Des Moines, sitting in a diner, getting cheap eggs and black coffee for breakfast. I want to sing the song of this life, I have no idea where I am or where I'm going. I want each day to blend into the next, never special but never the same. I want to lose myself between the mountain ranges, empty everything inside me, to be where I am and what I'm doing, become the wasteland. I want to lose. I want no one to know who I am or what I'm from or where I'm going, what I'm doing, what the goal of this odyssey is, to let the wind blow through me and be that transparency, to follow the path of nothing at all. Let me show you. Here, this time, inside the space of the mind, the story becomes what we imagined it wouldn't ever be. The opening of ourselves into the moment of weakness, becoming the very image of transparency that doomed us before. Where is the feeling going that controls our understanding of the skies and the goodbyes and the weekend's melancholy aloneness? What if the moment of becoming wasn't a moment at all, but a process, a lifetime, a spectrum? And what am I doing? I'm trying so hard to become, but all I can do is watch, pretending to live inside the moment of our awakening selves. What if we went away? If we walked and disappeared? If we were well and truly lost? only the emptiness of the road to take us where it cannot go, to take us into nothingness and being, to walk and lose and be loved and realize nothing but just to be the sadness instead of hiding it here the whole time. The king of the hilltops has spoken. You have a quest to embark upon, my son. Go forth into the land of the people and forget we ever spoke. Stop questing and start being. Breathe the time, but never know it. Hide your mind for a moment and sleep in the daylight. Each time the morning comes, but we've never felt beyond the waking hour.
where does this departure take us? To the land of no departure at all? I want you to get lost with me, to sit beside my side and walk with me, to scrape together all we have and be the other's world entire. Exchange few words and retain the loss. Hold each other in the night, maybe. Or just rest your head on my shoulder. Feel more than what it takes to become ourselves. Instead, be the time and the weakness that we always knew was there. Despite the wandering and the closeness to be alone and know the other. To stop and let the outpouring of our softness damn the measure of our thoughts. The very likeness of our souls is beyond the sense of each other. Please come with me. This is what it means to jump.
underneath all of our skin is this constant, endless, driving, monotonous understanding of infinity. The days arrive closer and closer. All these days, all of them. The next session doesn't begin for another 20 minutes pass by, and there's still nowhere to go, nothing to find out, no more faith and feeling. Where did your mother last leave the keys? When did you lose this sense of ease and security and brotherhood without purpose? Brotherhood without a need to be constant and unrelenting in your pursuit. I have to remember you're tied and trapped nothing. All this nothing here in a boxed-in room on a Sunday. This gigantic, unrelated rhapsody of ourselves is getting to be too much. So, when does a form Transcend itself. Just remember. Turn the lights and 
the stove. Typewriters, never keyboards, always typewriters, that they, given enough time, would manage to type out the complete works of William Shakespeare, the entire human genome, or maybe even a cure for cancer. Heck, I'd be happy with a decent haiku, or maybe a grocery list. Bananas, bananas. Monkey grooming products, bananas. Not so long ago, a little sparrow would fly to infinity. She was unable to ground herself, stuck in flight, apart from those more healthy individuals who knew the safe. able to fly. Stay with me now. Sometimes I feel like life is little more than a series of traps, of potential typos. Cities, relationships, jobs, friends, lovers, families, communities, ideas of self. Maybe some of them aren't so bad, but maybe some of them could prevent you forever from making something great, or changing the world, or building a better banana. There I sit and sigh, as melancholy elements go by. So, like, what the fuck, right? How is one supposed to know where to jump, when to let go? How to become, I guess, when a hundred billion or so people type their way through life. They, given enough time, will manage to eventually eke out a few decent Beethoven symphonies, maybe Hamlet or something. The sparrow finds herself stuck in a fable, in archetype. In the ballads, song on porches, and it doesn't know how to sing outside their song. The fallen to the sea defeat of Icarus, an opposing tragedy. But I'd like to know. The 67 billionth monkey, the one who almost 
most typed out, the most beautiful love poem the world has ever seen. But not quite. What if he really meant it? If only the two knew each other contrary, there is no business but to be besides. What I want is to feel raw all over, nothing but new skin, clear eyes, empty memories. Moments can be fleeting. Pay for it with frozen, empty time. I know, 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 stuck. And I know there's nothing to it but letting go. And I know there's nothing to it but letting go. I haven't sensed an ending yet. The problem with being unable to get lost is that of knowing where I am and having to move on. Relax and give up before you get too close. What if this thing you're seeking isn't the answer? Or what if it is, and there's nowhere else to go? What if you're about to realize there is no answer? No. Fuck it. I am indeed allowed to live. When cadences fall from limb to limb, 
lost here I was moving back and back time scatters fate means nothing approaching an early life brooding in mist and song mornings and evenings are soaring and the days pass like sleeping summertime 
I should go. Back to the theaters, to the gems. I'll return to basements and filing cabinets. Round and round to the memory, backwards to swing sets and boas. Parties and lunch times. Until, Until the, the desolate, desolate topography. topography. I was a child. In glamour, in heels, but with eyes alive. Down here could be an idea of the same person straddling their existence. Not, Not quite, quite raw all over, but maybe just a little. Within the past, before the past, before we will shout memory. Maybe just enough. Trees once soured, now glittering, now mended and shining, exalt in their multitudes. Then free and feel and quiver and burst. Back to flight within a wisp of sky cloud. But never before the inside fails. And I'm ready to jump into sky cloud, past the sky cloud. Be more than the sun and the sky. And I'm ready to poke and prod and push the moon out of her bed and wake the buzzing rays and write relish and red and pink love poems to a coffee boy I hardly know. Be the mind that takes it and lives it and never dies. I want to sing with sacred wind, premature troubadourian odes, and dance on the choreographed whimsies to brighten his opal eyes. Jump. And continue my another thousand poetic of love and loving. And realize that falling is the same as living and doing and breathing. And I land now on new ground with the caffeine of familiarity and newly formed family. And the first mistake is letting go so completely that there's nothing left to hold on to. And I remember old ground, though new ease and new trees hold me. I'll go peacefully. These are just words now.